Hey, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I'm super excited to show you something. I have upgraded to the XP Deus 2. Got to meet a lovely couple who I purchased it from. Today is the maiden voyage and I go back to the fort, the old one, it's right behind me. It's a 1750 fort. Um, it's a very cool place that I've come to hundreds of times, dug thousands of holes it seems like. It's a perfect place to test this thing out and see if it can separate some targets and find me things that I haven't been able to find in a long time. Every so often I'll find a button out here, but I've already been out and swinging and it's a great, great day for the maiden voyage. Learn a lot from it, share some things with you, um, but I'm still learning a ton. And uh, just to let you know too, if you're swinging one, this is general mode, I don't take it out, I don't change anything. This is turn it on and pretty much go with it and kind of learn as I'm going. So check it out, I hope you enjoy the video. See ya. Okay, well, I'm on my first target that I'm gonna dig. Hit a couple things that were really just surface level stuff. I have not dug a hole. So this is gonna be the first one with the new Deus 2. I wanna show you the signal, it's deep. And it's kind of coming in and it's kind of not, but it's worth, I think, investigating. Hopefully you can see my screen there. I don't want to turn the volume on for you to hear it, only because I'm at a uh, permission where there's a house and there's people and I don't want it to be uh, too disturbing for them while I'm here. But anyhow, uh, I'm going to dig this and see what we got guess I'm still learning the pinpoint feature. Uh, kind of off cut it a little bit. Uh, it was over here in the side. I had to kind of dig that out. It's out, whatever it is, but I don't know what it is. So, we shall find out together. Uh, I see it, and it just looks like junk. Thinking that was my tone. But it's a pretty gnarly looking old nail, whatever it is. But I'll recheck the hole, but I think that was it. Might not have been. If it wasn't, I'll come back in and I'll show you what I find. Okay, well, I d just dug a square nail. Um, you know, iffy tone, but you got to try them. New machine. want to show you uh, this signal, if you can see my screen. Uh, kind of a mid-tone. Uh, yeah. you can see that there it's not great sorry it's likely foil but uh, I'm going to get it opened up and see what we got I don't know if you can see it or not but it's kind of a mid-tone high 40s, 50s, even reaching 60s so let's see what it is Well, it's still in the plug. It's right at the base of it. Something right there. I got a feeling it's going to be foil. Oh, man, this ground. Oh, I see a little bit of green something. No, <laughs> it's just green foil. But that's what it was. Saw that green in there, and I thought, oh, boy, maybe it's a button. But no, just foil, I think. Yeah. Oh, well, on to the next. Well, I kind of regret not filming the signal. It was a super faint 80, 79. And, uh, you know, I've been going for those. I haven't videoed everything just because. But I can see a rim. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. But it's right here. I think it might be a button. I don't think it'd be a coin. You probably can't see it. The stinking sun right there. I think it's going to be a button. Uh, uh, it's lodged in there pretty good. It might be nothing at all. I moved it out anyway. Right here. <laughs> what could it be? It's definitely round. Might just be a button. Heck yeah! Check that out. 
That was a deep, deep target too. That is great. Awesome. I think it's just a normal flat. I don't think it's anything special. Nice early 1800s button. I can get a little brush on it. There might be something on it. But that's great. That's the first find with the Deus 2. Very cool. I guess I gotta keep taking chances. I still gotta work out that pinpoint. I mean, I pinpointed it dead center, as you can see, how I dug the hole, but it was over here. You know, I watch, I've watched hundreds of videos since I got the Deus, and I never see anyone use the pinpoint feature on it. it they very rarely do. So I don't know if I'm missing something there, if it's not as good. But anyhow, I found it. <laughs> Very cool, on to the next. Well, yet another signal that I didn't video, but it turned out to be a good one, and it wasn't even deep. It was in the plug, maybe three inches. It looks like it's gonna be a little tomback button. Rang in, in like the upper 50s, low 60s, but yes. So, I don't know, but the first button that I dug, uh, I rescanned the hole. I should have videoed it, but it took me a couple minutes to figure it out. I rescanned the hole, and I was still getting the same high tone signal. I went back in and found a nail, and to be perfectly honest, I'm not even sure I was picking the button up. I don't think I was. I guess I could have been and you know or I just got lucky but that one I definitely heard sweet little tomback button awesome 1700s relic right there tiny little thing but that's a good one okay I found a signal that I want you to see um, pretty good one I wish you could hear it I'll be perfectly honest um, the remote can function as your speaker <laughs> but I can't figure out how to turn that on. Uh, I'm not giving it a whole lot of look, but anyway, check this signal out. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it from my headphones. Probably not. I don't have my headphones up very loud. It's a pretty good signal. I don't know if you can see it. That's not helping. Low 80s. I'm going to get the hole popped and uh, see if we can locate it. I'm really hoping this might be a deep coin. It's a very faint little signal in my headphones. So let's see. Well, all I got out of there was a nail. Uh, you can see these got two, one huge root, a little old dead one. Uh, that's all came out of there. Man, I thought for sure it sounded so alone. Um, I'm still really kind of having to learn this separation um, with this new machine and the sounds and all that stuff which has proven to be a little bit difficult so far today but you know hey that's all right but I've scanned it a couple times I'll run my pinpointer back in there but I don't think there's anything in there to find other than that rusty old nail but anyhow just had a high 70 signal didn't think it would be much. I actually thought it would be a can or something, but it looks like it's maybe a piece of bean pot. Pretty cool. About six inches down. But I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Some bean pot. Okay, this is maybe my best uh, target of the day. I'm not sure you can see it. It's, uh... I have an 82, 81, 83 signal. We're gonna get the hole popped open and see what it is. Be right back. Still in the plug, not very deep. Somewhere right in here, I think. Oh, oh, oh. Check that out. That was a coin. Uh, it's probably not a very old one. But it could be a weedy. I mean, it could be an Indian. I suppose it could be a flying eagle. 
No, it's too thin. Anyway, that's cool. Probably just a memorial. Uh-oh, it's not. Get out of here. <laughs> it's not. It's a freaking Indian. I don't know if I've ever found an Indian here. <laughs> that is super cool. All kind of first today with the dais. Check that fella out. Sweet. Oh, it's an old one. 1865. That is so awesome. So awesome. I want to get it cleaned up real good. We'll take a better look at it. Be right back. Yeah, buddy. Hopefully it's coming in all right. Ugh. Come on. There we are. Yeah, 1865. That is sweet. It'll probably clean up a little better than that. It dried out real quick, but that's pretty sweet. First Indian with the dais. First buttons with the dais. I guess if I start using it, everything will be a first. First nails. First screws. First shotgun shell a little bit ago. I didn't show you that, but that is awesome. I mean, this is a place that I've been to so many times. This is the place that I hunt and dig like crazy. That is pretty sweet. Gotta keep going. And it's not silver, but boy, it rang up high. 94, 95. I kind of thought it would be a silver at those numbers. But it's pretty. It's actually, it really looks like silver. It even kind of feels like it. But it's not. Not unless they made one special one back in 82. But, uh, yeah. 25 cents richer, so that's cool. All right. We just had a high 70s. Dug a couple nails out of there, thought that was it. But I got a ball button, whoops. Sorry about that. How cool, I haven't dug one of these in a long time. Sweet. I always worry they're fragile. That is super cool. Ball button, baby. <laughs> That's awesome. Very cool. Sweet. All right, just want to show you something really quick. This area between that bush and these trees and rocks right there. Uh, I did a video a while ago. I think I did. I can't remember. But uh, anyway, it's this little stretch just between the here I used uh, with my AT Max and I think the Pro, the AT Pro, I used uh, the small six inch, nine inch, whatever coil they have, the standard stock, and then uh, a big coil. Different times came through here, you know, like a snail and trying to find things that maybe one coil missed over the other, one machine missed over the other, and found some stuff every time, you know, kind of proving that uh, coil size does, you know, make a difference. Anyhow, what you see of this bush right here cut down up to my detector about where I'm standing was all brush all the way down, almost to that tree. This is all territory I've never dug before, and right where my detector is sitting, is a great signal, 82, 83. Uh, let me see if I can find it and you can check it out. I think you can see that, but we are gonna get that popped. This is awesome, I've got, I just started, like this is two steps into the area that I've never been able to do because it's been so brushed up. Whew, this could be a good one. Be right back. Well, it's in the plug. Uh, as soon as I popped it, uh, turned the plug over, it started ringing up as a 95. It may just be a quarter, since that's what the last one came in on me. But, oh, that's a rock. So 
So I'm not sure yet. Come on, be something awesome. Pretty deep still though, to be a modern coin. I moved it, uh oh. It's round, but I think it's a button. Maybe that's just dirt. It is a button. Daggone that rang up, oh, it's awesome. Oh, check that out. Oh man, it's beautiful. That is sweet. Wow, that is gorgeous. It's a heavy, thick button. Oh, I really thought it was a coin. Wow, that's cool. Let me get it brushed up a little bit and uh, get a better look at it. Be right back. Well, this thing is beautiful. That is really something. I've never seen a button like this before. That's really cool. The shank. The shank is worn down. Hold on. <sighs> like, it's a wonder. That shank. That button was going to come off sooner or later anyhow with that shank. It's all worn down. Either that or it's just super thinly drilled. I don't know. But that's cool. So pretty. Hmm. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to hit this now. I mean, this thing was a screamer. There's no way I'd ever swung over that before. No way. So this is cool. Man, I really want to find a silver coin. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. Had a uh, kind of jumpy high tone and uh, popped that plug and swung back over. Could still hear something, so I popped that plug. Now the first one just came this big piece of iron, which is kind of what I was thinking it was, but I wanted to get it out of here anyway, since I've never dug this, um, just because who knows what it's masking, which I'm glad I did, because right beside it was a very small little button. How cool. That's really awesome. I found buttons like this before. So little, and the shank was right dead center. But yeah, that's cool. I'm glad I got that piece of iron out. Sometimes you gotta get that trash out of places so you can see what's underneath. And this was right beside it. So that's cool. Okay, well, I had a kind of high 50s signal again, kind of like the tomback that I dug. I think I dug another one. I'm not sure what it is. It just kind of fell out of this clump when I was moving stuff around. It would be pretty awesome. Oh my gosh, I think it's a coin. There's something on it. Either that or it's just a design. What the heck is that thing? It doesn't look silver though. I guess it could be. Maybe it's just a scratched up tombay. No, oh, it's gotta be what it is. Very cool. <clears throat> yeah, mud. Oh yeah, there's a shank. Very sweet. Man, those are tricky, man. This machine, like I have dug, uh, I've chased a couple Look like it had something on it. I guess it's just being scratched up. But I've chased a couple of those high 50s and 60s looking for more of those tombacks since that's what I got. And most of the time it's been foil. Um, but foil's coming in pretty low at like 38 and into the 40s too. So that's going to be kind of tricky to get used to, you know, what those numbers are. Maybe it's tighter on a tomback. I mean, they've been dead on 58 to like 62. Uh, somewhere in that 60 61 but who knows you got to dig it to find out what it is but that's awesome another button can't believe it all right well getting pretty close to wrapping the day up 
but came across a good signal I want you all to check out I mean it sounds really deep and it's just a tiny little blip but 83 85 it's hanging pretty tight so I've had a couple that have done that to me so far and they've ended up being nails zero iron sound whatsoever just faint little high tones but you know you got to dig those and hopefully this time it's a deep coin be right back all right just pop the plug and uh hit it again with the dais check this out and there is nothing that is as crisp as it could sound and i don't see nothing in there yet Well, looks like I'm going to have to do a little bit more digging. I'll be right back. Well, I haven't even really done anything because something caught my eye. I don't know. I'm, i got to figure this pinpoint thing out. And there might still be something way down in there. But sitting right here is something. And it's round. And I think it's going to be a button. Or it's going to be garbage. It looks like a button. But it also kind of looks like a tent grommet or just a kind of smashed up washer. I guess that's what could have been giving me that tone. Uh, that's probably pretty likely. Ah, but I don't know. I have to check it again. Boy, I thought for sure that was going to be a deep coin. But sitting right there on edge... Uh, just like that, you know. I guess that's going to give you kind of a weird tone. Big hole in it. All right, well, if anything else exciting happens, I'll be sure to let you know. Well, that's going to wrap up today's hunt. Um, I can't, I'm super impressed. Super impressed. The places that I swung over today, I have swung over and found things in the past and uh, can't believe that I was still able to pull out a couple buttons, a couple coins. The Indian head threw me for a loop. I, where I found that, I have swung and swung and swung. No idea. You know, I guess you can just miss it. Anyway, I'm excited to have a new detector and excited to see what comes for the rest of this year. And, uh, man, it's just super, super cool um, coming back here and finding the things that I found today. So... Hope you tune in to more videos and we'll see you on the next one. Later.